regard to our sanctions and export controls, Russia has become increasingly isolated on the world stage. Putin is now isolated from the world more than ever. Russia has never been so isolated. We have never been more united. We have demonstrated that Russia is isolated and alone. Russia is globally isolated. It shows the degree to which Mr. Putin and Russia are increasingly isolated. President Putin has never been more isolated. Isolated and alone. Isolated and struggling. Increasingly isolated. Russia is more isolated on the world stage than ever. said that we should all live as one big family. Dear Mr. Secretary General, this is exactly how we live. Our Turkish partners have repeatedly approached us with proposals on some initiatives, but when we agreed, it turned out that the Ukrainian side had already managed to refuse. This happened twice. For example, in New York, there were events under the auspices of the UN, and Mr. Erdogan's assistant called directly from New York. He called Mr. Ushakov and made an offer on behalf of the Ukrainian side. We agreed. And the next day, the head of the Ukrainian regime publicly stated that he would not participate in any negotiations. This is irrational behavior that is difficult to predict, and it is impossible to make any plans on this basis. When you speak to Putin, does he acknowledge the sanctions? Does he acknowledge how much his economy has been hurt? Or does he just not care? I think he cares, but he will not really admit it. So you get some uh, idea. You get some idea that it really is hurting him and that he understands the deep impacts of our sanctions on his economy. And uh, I'm always mentioning it because it's necessary to say it. This is now happening to a country that is not that advanced, that is really needing all the technologies from the rest of the world for having a similar standard of living and for having the chance to be part of a growth in the world economy. And this is now the real damage to the Russian economy that they have no chance to do this. I'm here with President Zelensky. I am such an admirer of what you and your country have done. You're trying to stop the Russians so we don't have to fight them. They don't want any American troops. They just need the weapons to free their country of a terrible invasion. They're sitting on trillion dollars worth of minerals that could be good to our economy. So I want to keep helping our friends in Ukraine. We can win this. They need our help. Yes, we need and we have already the biggest help is the support of American people and support of our friends. Thanks to Lindsay and his co colleagues, uh, to congressmen and senators from the United States. Thanks for this support, my partisan support. Thank you so much. Peace is coming. Yes. Soon. <laughs>